Hello friends, welcome to Webiscript.info and I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel and this is Laravel video series and from this video we are going to do a small project. We are not going to learn Laravel, we will do a project while doing that project we will learn Laravel, how Laravel works. So for that I am going to show you a small overview of the project, what we are going to do in this project. It is just a small project which reveals the relationship. It's all about relationship and the crud. So CRUD and relationship and here you can see the small uh, what I have done here. So here you can see I have a table students and another table courses. In the student table we will store student information and perform all the create, read, update, delete, information, delete things in this table as well as we will do the same thing with courses table and uh, what we will do whenever a student enroll for a course that information will be stored in this third table right so one student can enroll for more than one courses that relationship will, will be has many relationship right let's say the student id 2 enroll for the course th 3 and enroll for the course 4 so that information will be stored here student id 2 enroll for the course 3 and i'll also enroll for the course 4 uh, that is the uh, um, what this is a one to many relationship right one to many I'm not good at writing in paint but I mean one to many relationship one student can enroll for more than one courses and we will discuss more about uh, different relationship let's begin with this small thing so this is our mini project in a crud relationship okay let's begin uh, you can see in the last video we have done this route information now in this video I'm going to do some migrations what is what are the migrations what is the migration migration of simply the script PHP script which will create the database table right database this is the folder then inside we have a migration folder and inside we have PHP script or the, or you can see the migration tables so by default Laravel will give you two tables here you can see the create users table this is a kind of phrase clear uh, one kind one sentence which which explains everything create password re resets table so this script will create the users table and this script will create the password reset table but in this project we are not going to use this users table and uh, reset password table because we are going to create something different it is not related to authentication or anything else it is just uh, uh, revealing the CRUD and relationship operations okay so to create the migration files or uh, we need to create also the models so let's begin now uh, just press windows R and open the command prompt here we go uh, navigate to your project CD drive and we are we are we need to explore, explore the XAM for slash HD docs and inside we have Laravel project folder. Okay, hit enter and just do DIR to list the directories and we for our in the last video we have created this CRUD project. So I'm just going to inside that folder CRUD. Hit enter. Now we are in the project folder. Uh, let me show you some ways to create migration files as well as models together. So if I say PHP artisan, this is the tool, PHP uh, Laravel tool, and the make what we are going to make, we are going to make a model first, model, and we will type the name of the model. So our model will be simply student. Because this model, uh, from this model, we are going to retrieve information and we are going to store information. So make model student. Hit enter. And the magic happened here. So model created successfully. And you can see uh, in the app folder, we have a student model. Right? So for now, I'm going to delete this uh, model uh, student. Now we don't have the another way. To create the model with the migration file, we can do php artisan and make colon. I can say the model and model 
sorry student name of the model name of the model and pass a one pass one option hyphen m so what this command will do this command will create the student model with migration file where we can create student table hit enter and you can see the two statement this time last time we have seen model created successfully now we we will see this we are seeing this one model created as well as created migration file and you can notice one thing i have created a model student this uh, this is a singular word without s this is not students it is just a student and this is a phrase create students table with s so the point is simply we have a model student and in migration file we have a table that is the students we have just created now students so you can see the difference is model is uh, model, uh, model is not with s not it is not plural it is singular and the table name is is plural students so this is the different we need to understand this one and we need to always uh, keep this thing in mind so let's add some columns so the first column is simply the id which is incremented id now second i'm going to create dollar table arrow and the column i'm going to create string student name other column table arrow and string and this will be student scroll and then the table arrow string or you can say the text uh, text is simply the text or you can say here student let's go address so our table is uh, we have four columns id name role address with timestamp so there are there will be two more columns uh, created at and updated at because of this timestamp right so uh, when we will migrate this table this this will be available in our database now another uh, 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 another model i'm going to create course okay so it's just a php artisan make model remove this student and type here course course hyphen m hit enter and it will give you two files model created successfully as well as migration created successfully so here you can see that we have the course table course model sorry and uh, we have a uh, courses table this again with s this is a plural plural okay and our table here we will see table string and course name And what we need another thing course ID, course name, course faculty, name of the faculty. Sorry, double space string and course faculty. We can also do a lot of things with this faculty. We can uh, we can retrieve uh, like based on faculty ID. What courses that faculty teach, right? So this course faculty and timestamps. So, so right now we have uh, created two tables, students and courses, and the third table we will create in the future videos. But but for uh, now, I'm just going to do this one. Yeah, we will discuss in, after the few videos when we when we get uh, when we done with the CRUD operations. okay let's save it and uh, we haven't uh, mentioned the database right so we need to create one database for that we need to start our php artisan okay we, we are we are already running our apache server and mysql database right so just type here localhost and forward slash php my admin hit enter create our database 
main the database student enrollment i hope spelling is correct enrollment okay student enrollment copy it copy this one okay our table database is ready student enrollment that's it we are, we are not going to create table from here our migration file will do this thing for us and uh, okay so just come here and uh, uh, type php artisan migrate php artisan migrate this is the command hit enter and well, we are come up with some errors which is going to say the home state local host access denied for user home state and local host so it is telling you yeah, in this laravel has one uh, one user home state at local host using some password we are you are not going to use that right so it's actually because we haven't mentioned the database name in our environment file the environment file is simply here dot env select the file and you can see the db database just change the name right change the database so we have created a database strain and enrollment our user is root and our password is blank save it okay and uh, open the command prompt run the same command once again php artisan migrate hit enter and you can see this time migration table created successfully but there is one error error is about keywords too long it's all because of in the, the newer version of laravel from 5.5 has some uh, default length for the string we'll have to mention that length in our laravel folder package folder so you can change this uh, length you can get rid out of that error by going inside this app folder and providers and app service provider go inside and you can see the function boot here we are going to mention our statement schema this is our schema our database structure and here i am going to say default string length will be 191 so default string length will be 191 or higher than 191 right save it and now we need to import this schema class in this file which is not available here so we can import by using this use statement this use statement is uh, we will use for to, to import the class schema right so just copy this once again and this is eliminate support service provider remove this inside support we have one uh, uh, class a uh, one full file packets packets forward slash inside that we have schema class and how you can figure out like uh, you don't know the packets or a schema things right so i have given this schema and how how i can find out this schema class is available so simply if you're using sublime text editor press ctrl p then it will give you the some window where you can type so just type schema and you can see the entire path the vendor laravel framework src eliminate support packets schema.php so from here you can figure out the uh, where, what is the path of this schema and you can simply click over here and go to that file okay fine so this is the way and if you click over here then the schema file is available here which has a class packet right and inside we have uh, we, are, we are importing this schema class so that's it packet same we have given default length fine now i'm going to run my migration file but this time i'm not going to simply migrate it i'm going to use migrate fresh so what this command will do this will drop all the available tables from my database and rerun all the migration files to create the tables hit enter okay this time no errors we have see dropped all tables successfully and then migration table created successfully so laravel has given some migration file that is the users table and password reset table we have created some migration file that is the students and courses 
So our migration files are executed successfully. You can go inside student enrollment and you can see the students. We have ID. Okay, that's something weird. There should be student name or a lot of things. Something happened wrong. Yeah, of course we have a student name, student role, student address, save all. Okay, structure, browser, student enrollment, check all, drop. So I have dropped all the tables from here. Let's rerun the migration command. It's done. Students. Okay, finally we have. Now you, you can see we have ID. That is the primary key. Student name, role, address. Then we have another table. Uh, another table is courses. And here we have course name, course faculty. That's it. So this is all about migration. Now you know how to migrate, how to run the migration commands and how to create tab tables in Laravel. I hope uh, you like this video and if you have any problem or you're facing any problem, let me know in the comment section and tell me about my uh, clarification. Am I clear to you or not? Just let me know in the comment section. And if you do comment, then only I can improve myself. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.